Who's hungry? The deli's open. Hey guys, welcome to another week of Marco's Sandwich Shop Games. We're going to break down some games for you, tell you some sandwich situations for this week, even throw in a trap game for you. And I'll tell you what I got going over at Wager Talk as well. Let's get the show started. Let's take a look at Northwestern at Purdue. Now, guys, this is a tough spot for Purdue, who is in the middle of an Oregon-Ohio State sandwich. Most people are going to look at this game and go back to two games ago when Purdue almost upset Illinois as a 22-and-a-half-point underdog. One thing to note there, that game came the week after Illinois suffered their first loss of the season uh, to Penn State. They had the carryover from that game, and they had Michigan on deck. They really didn't take Purdue seriously, and Purdue was able to make that game look very close. Actually, it was 50-49. to 49. Uh, I don't expect that here from Purdue. Uh, I'm going to look at Northwestern uh, plus the uh, – excuse me, it was plus one to minus one in this one. Lay the points with Northwestern as we catch Purdue in that sandwich spot, Ohio State on deck for them. The next one we're going to look at, guys, is Michigan State – plays Indiana. Now, this is a dangerous spot for Indiana. Indiana's coming off back-to-back -back blowout wins, including beating last year's runner-up for the national championship, Washington, last week. Um, this is a spot now for Indiana. It's getting late in the season. They're undefeated, and I realize they've been blowing everybody out, but they've got to be careful. They play Michigan followed by Ohio State coming up. This is a spot where if they don't take Michigan State seriously, going into Michigan State, a tough place to play. Michigan State's been playing good defense this year. They could get uh, have a close scare. And one of the things, when you have a team that's not used to being in this position, and by this position I mean undefeated this late in the season, sometimes these teams have a tendency – to play not to lose instead of playing to win. You start to play a little tighter, a little more conservative, and that is not a good recipe when you're laying points, especially because your lines are going to be inflated as you keep winning. So be careful with um, Indiana this week. Uh, look at Michigan State here. And as I always tell you guys, I don't have to necessarily give you a winner, but if I talk you out of playing a loser – I saved you more money. A winner gets you one unit. If I save you a loser, I saved you 1.1 unit with the juice. All right, let's take a look at the next one. And the next one is North Carolina at Florida State. This is a classic situation that we get this time of the year when you've got a team that is supposed to be good, was very good last year, and I'm talking about Florida State. Remember, they finished the regular season undefeated and got snubbed for the national championship playoff series because their quarterback got hurt at the end of the year. Uh, they didn't get to go to the bowl game they wanted to go to, uh, and they ended up losing that bowl game, and then it has been an absolute nightmare this year. They're sitting at 1-7. and seven. So how do they get excited for a North Carolina team coming in here when they are coming off playing their arch rival last week as North Carolina played Miami, they lost that game, and then they've got Notre Dame on deck. This is a classic sandwich spot. I do not trust Florida State here. This team looks like a team that is quit. If they're going to show up to play, they might show up against Notre Dame, but I just don't see it here against North Carolina. North Carolina sitting at four and four, needs two wins to become bowl eligible. They get one of them here. All right, guys, here, before I get to the next two games, I want to tell you, if you made it this far, I hope you're enjoying the video. If you like what you are seeing here, do me a favor. Hit the like button. It really helps out the channel. And you can leave me a comment. Tell me what you like about the videos, what you'd like to see, or if you have any questions. I check back a few times here uh, during the weekend, and I'll answer questions that you may have. Uh, if you want to make sure you never miss any of these videos, 
hit the subscribe button. You'll be notified every time a new video is posted. Also, guys, we got a special offer going over at Wager Talk right now. Guys, we are absolutely killing it. Uh, since last Friday, we are on a 10 and 3 run in my 5% plays. They're now 14 and 3 after last Saturday's 5% winner. We had California minus 10 and a half, a 44 to 7 winner. I've got another 5% going this weekend. And if you want to join me, for a full calendar year, this is the best deal we've offered. You can get it. Normally, $1,999 for a full year of all of my plays. You can get 12 months, every play, every sport, including the 5% plays, for just $1,188. $1,188. That comes out to $99 a month. Head over to wagertalk.com right now to check out that special offer on my homepage. All right, let's get to the next one. And we've got Florida. They're getting 16 points this week at Georgia. This is a game that if you look at it on paper, Georgia should blow out Florida. But guys, this is a bad spot for Georgia. Now I know this is kind of the rivalry game. Um, the world's greatest outdoor cocktail party is what it was known as. That's not politically correct anymore, but that's what it is. And what I'm going to say here is Georgia's got bigger fish to fry. They're coming off their last game. They beat Texas. Now they've had two weeks in between, but that was a huge win for Georgia to knock off the number one team in the country, get themselves back in a position uh, for the national championship. But they also have a big game on deck. They've got Ole Miss coming up, and that's going to pose a challenge uh, in their next game. So you're looking at coming off Texas. you got Mississippi on deck. And here you're playing Florida, a team that can't get out of their own way. Just be careful with Georgia. This is not an automatic slam dunk. For me, I'd have to look at Florida plus the points or pass the game. And the last one I'm going to give you here on this week's Sandwich Shop Games is not a sandwich game, but it's actually a trap game. And you know, I do these plays on uh, our show, Bet On It, every week. We either have a trap game or a sandwich game. I wanted to share this trap game with you. And I'm looking at Syracuse plus four against Virginia Tech. And the reason this is a trap game is you got Virginia Tech coming off three straight wins. And they played some mediocre foes. But every time they played one of those three teams, that team was coming off a big game in their previous game or had a big game on deck. They caught them at the right time. And. This time, it's Syracuse that's the team catching somebody at the right time. Syracuse is coming off that game last week. A total embarrassment on national TV against Pitt. Five interceptions they had in that game. Three of them returned for touchdowns in that 41-13 loss. They're going to want to bounce back this week. But Virginia Tech, who's feeling all fat and sassy after three straight wins, well, they've got a big game on deck. They've got Clemson coming to town uh, to Blacksburg to play next week. I think Virginia Tech gets caught looking ahead. This is a trap game. Let's take a look at Syracuse plus the points. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed doing it and sharing the knowledge with you guys um, that I've accumulated over my 46 years in this business. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch these videos. And as always, best of luck with all of your wagers this week. I'll talk to you guys next week here on Marco's Deli. And let's hope we cash some tickets this week. We'll be eating good at the deli.